yo guys i'm fast fingers welcome back to another tutorial today we're going to be uh, looking at microphone setup and see how we can uh, get it get it running right a few people have wrote to me asking about it and asking how i've set mine up so i thought i'd do a video on it so here we go the first thing you need to do is get two pieces of software one is voice meter the links will be in the description for both by the way and audacity both are free so it doesn't cost a penny the next thing you need to do is open up your recording devices go to your uh, microphone right click properties and go to levels now my levels is set at 73 it'll be different with every microphone um, but this the levels means gain basically so the sensitivity of your mic I have mine in between 60 and 75 and then what you need to do is make sure that it's the uh, default by right clicking and go uh, what is it I don't know but make sure it's working anyway it should be default that's default communications disabled should disable should description it has got that tick so it is the it is the default microphone so let's close that then what you need to do is open up a uh, voice meter and in, in here you need to select your microphone which is there mine's the AT2020 USB and then the output on A2 by clicking that little arrow you need to put cable input for some reason on mine it won't show cable output but anyway you can choose that it doesn't matter all the same and then what you can do is boost it up with these mine's around nine on that one and this is because you've, you've turned the levels down in your microphone or the gain so what you need to do is boost it back up and that's what the these do these sliders so you know it's down really quiet there and then back up to about nine 9.8 it's boost up right into the green well you do that so that you're up here you can see that your voice level is going higher than that line there and you can test this by uh, opening audacity and you make sure you've got the cable output set there click that now you notice that when I stop talking it's still playing but it fades out that's because of this button here the audibility this is like a noise gate so when it 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 can detect when you're talking and when there's background noise so what you've got to do is mess about with that and make sure it's just right the mine's going out more or less straight away now see so what you can what it looks like when you record it we'll just do a little test now yo guys I'm fast fingers welcome back to another episode of farming simulator you can see the tail in there well that's what I like to call it that's just the background noise of the mic so it's like my PC whatever's going on in the background and all like that so we can play it back and listen to it Yo guys, I'm Fast Fingers. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator. There. So basically, that's how you've set it up. But then you've got to notice here that I have a lot of spikes down here. Now this is the right side. So if you imagine the microphone being in the center here, it would be even. So this is because I've got my microphone set up right here and it's on my right side so when I'm in gameplay I usually set it up right above my head there because I don't have my webcam on so it doesn't matter it's not seen but you'll notice that the waveform will be different so let's start another recording from about this point yo guys I'm fast fingers welcome back to another episode now you can see here that it looks more even it didn't at the start but it does look more even there what you can do if you do have it on at your right hand side or left hand side 
you can uh, alter it by just tweaking these so it sounds more central and that's basically it how to set it up once you once you've played around with the fine tuning of it then you should be good to go and well, i'll tell you some more features of voice meter as well this bar here this button you can move it all around and it'll alter your voice it'll change it so i found the sweet spot there so that's where my my voice sounds right but you can add echoes and all sorts of little bits to it well so so i hope that's helped you out i hope you can get your mics working you may have also noticed that i've got a pop filter on but it's actually a sock because it works just as good as anything else so uh please leave a like subscribe and uh I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.